Hi everyone, my name is Praveen Vaz and I'm the outreach person for engineering and computer science at Victoria University of Wellington. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about repurposing toys with the microbit. Um, I won't be spending time at all talking how amazing the microbit is because it would be um, like preaching the converted. I got hooked on to um, salvaging old toys when I was younger. Uh, I had a fascination towards mortars and gears, so I used to always break them apart and I probably couldn't put them back together. But I just wanted to see how they worked on the inside and then try and repurpose them into making some cool stuff. So my journey begins here in the thrift shop uh, where I go hunting every couple of weeks and looking for uh, toys with mechanical components. I also collect a lot of uh, broken toys um, and speakers, uh, which I would try and make some boom boxes out of. Uh, but that's for another time. Um, I've made, I've, I've got a pile of junk sitting at home and then, and then I've got little testers at home who play around with my stuff as well. Um, also things like floppies and CD, CD drives, they've got quite a few mechanical components in them and it it's, uh, amazes me to see all these fantastic projects made by people. Uh, in this case the Moppy project uh, which runs off the Arduino. So it always uh, place in my mind whether we could do the same thing with the microbit. The basics of course is uh, in, in this uh, RC car system is to find out where there are servos and where uh, motors are used. Uh, the primary difference being uh, the servo is, is slightly more precise than the, than the, mot than the DC motor and, and that's how they look on the picture. Um, and, uh, but if you open the servo up it's essentially a DC motor inside so you could open one of those and see that that's how it looks. So um, this is how the system would work. You've got, uh, if you dismantle a car, you've got the main controller, which looks something like that. Um, and um, that's got a transmitter hooked up, like uh, usually on a low frequency uh, system. And the main controller is hooked up to uh, the motors uh, which drive the car back and forth as well as the steering uh, which in this case is a DC motor as well uh, and it's usually got a battery compartment right at the bottom uh, four batteries eight batteries or uh, the newer cars have got LiPo systems in them and what you're trying to do out of it is to replace the uh, the main controller with a uh, microbit and a um, well this one the one that I'm using is a motor driver made by Kitronic they're pretty cool uh, and they've got um, inputs for a couple of motors so you can use one for throttle and one for steering we're using the same battery compartment um, and you could repurpose it using a lipo as well if you wanted to but we're keeping the same motor and and steering system um, and uh, what are you trying to do is use another micro bit as steering so uh, you could 3d print one of these little things and, and, and you could use the uh, onboard gyro to uh, uh, steer it and then talk to the other micro bit using the radio feature. And then you can connect things like lights and sensors and uh, all sorts of stuff. So that's that's basically how the system would work. Uh, the programming, uh, you've got separate programming for the transmitter and the receiver. So essentially I've got a variable throttle which sends the value from the uh, from the transmitter when I press a press a button it sends me some signal and says keep going forward or back and that and the same thing as steering and that does the exact same on on the receiver uh, so the main reason for me to do this is that uh, to remind students that hey you can fix things by just uh, tinkering a little bit with it and that DIY culture to, uh, to instill in those students so hopefully they can repurpose uh, projects in the future and not just discard things like uh, right now Europe's got a big uh, open it up culture especially against Apple and Tesla I know that um, and next steps is to attach like an AI camera um, as well as some sensors and then um, currently this is what I'm working on uh, with the um, uh, microbit in my uh, in my greenhouse so I've got some data coming out of the greenhouse which goes straight into an app and that relays a data real-time uh, to just a, a simple little 
uh, image target and yeah that's 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 me so if you have any if you have any questions about this i've got it all on that website techteacherslog.net uh, and follow me on twitter and and that's my bot microbit g so um thanks again and hope you have a good day bye